Hello world, this is Random Fix and today I'm going to show you how to clear a check engine light, show you where the OBD2 port location is on this 2011 Mini Cooper and this applies to a lot of the same Mini Coopers in this era so stay tuned, let me get you set up. So we're going to be using this very inexpensive $20, $25 scanner to clear the check engine light. The scanner is awesome, I've been using it for at least 5 years now. So your OBD2 port on this Mini Cooper is going to be right here. And the best thing about it, if you look at the port, it's uh, shaped a certain way so you can't do it backwards. Let me go ahead and hook this up and I'll show you how to clear the check engine light. So I've plugged in the OBD2 port and it's getting power now. And now what I want to do is I want to come to the vehicle and make sure that the ignition's on. And by the ignition, what I mean is you're going to go ahead and make sure that all the lights on the vehicle turn on. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the power button. And you can see that my check engine light is on right now. All these other lights on the vehicle turned on right here. And uh, we're going to go back to the scan tool now. Alright, so with my scan tool plugged in, my ignition on, I'm going to go ahead and show you what you're supposed to do. You want to hit an enter and the scan tool is going to go ahead and scan the car it's pretty quick about it and it shows that it found two diag diagnostic trouble codes or DTCs I'm going to hit and hit enter and if you want to have a pen or write down these numbers so I'm getting uh, a, a P0368 and a, a, an appending which means uh, it's happening it's recorded and it's uh, it's another one's pending for the same code for a, a P0368 and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to er uh, erase which is below I can go check the monitors on the vehicle I can check the van I can rescan it but we're gonna go to erase hit enter the erase is done and on certain German cars you have to res restart the car in order to get a confirmation that it's done I'm gonna go ahead and try to attempt it without restarting the vehicle just do a rescan and there it goes uh, there's no pending trouble codes. I'm going to go ahead and unplug this. I haven't had any issues plugging it, leaving it plugged in. And I'm going to start the vehicle and seeing if this check engine light turns off for you. And there it is. The check engine light on the vehicle is gone. That little scanner, which the link will be below, it does come with the CD-ROM. So you can go ahead and troubleshoot your own problems. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. If you guys want to share this video on your Facebook page with any friends that have Mini Coopers and they're tired of visiting the dealership, uh, this is a great video to start off of and there's a lot of support online. Just Google that uh, trouble code that you got and put in the make and model of the vehicle and believe it or not, somebody else has had the same problem so you won't have a hard time uh, diagnosing what it could be. Thanks for watching.